The Fraction Counter Gadget is an effective visual way to introduce students to fractions progressing beyond one whole into mixed numbers. Firstly choose a denominator to count in and then follow along with the pictures and the number line. The shapes animate as the fractions progress showing an accurate representation of the mixed numbers. Count along forwards and backwards by the selected fraction, taking note of the regrouping that happens when you reach each whole number. Alternatively, jump the marker to the desired mix number by simply clicking on the number line. Count forwards or backwards in whole ones by clicking on the smaller double arrow. The fraction counter gadget is very versatile. Each representation may be hidden or revealed in any combination. The number is displayed clearly in the fraction box. The name of the fraction is written in the box below. The position of the fraction is clearly marked on the number line with a marker. The number line shows the symbols for mixed numbers and also improper fractions. The pictures of the shapes can be changed from circles to squares. The main fraction symbol box toggles between both forms of each fraction, improper fractions and mixed numbers. The number line is a powerful teaching tool as it not only allows counting in mixed numbers but can also show the corresponding improper fractions. The number line can show both, either or none of the fractions. Students can count in improper fractions using the mixed number to improper fraction tool to switch between them. Notice how the shapes change too with improper fractions shown so that the whole numbers are cut up into fractional parts. That way they can be counted. Students can explore the relationship between mixed numbers and improper fractions. Converting between the two forms becomes easy as students can visualize what is happening. Allow students time to count the fractions they need to. When shown several examples, Students are often able to find their own formula for converting between two different forms of the same number. After a few examples of this in one class, a student was heard to say, I know a shortcut, it's easy. Just multiply the whole number by the denominator and add the numerator. Yes, students can work out their own formula. There are some other useful activities teachers can do with students that go beyond standard counting activities. Hide the fraction, name and fractions on the line as well as the marker and have your students mark on the number line where they think the number shown by the picture lies. Hide the pictures, name and the fractions on the number line and move the marker. Ask your students to name the fraction at that point on the line. Reveal the fraction to self-correct answers. Hide the picture, fraction, name and fractions on the line as well as the marker and have your students mark on the number line where they think the mixed number shown lies. Place the marker on the blank number line and have your students draw the shapes to make up the mixed number. Convert between mixed numbers and improper fractions without showing your students any formula. Let them work out their own. Start with converting whole numbers, then move on to mixed numbers. You'll be surprised at the results.